with the Vermont legislative veto session coming up on Monday. Today is Governor Phil Scott's last day to take action on bills and decide what's in and what's out. One of those is a consumer protections bill aimed at protect, uh, protecting Vermonters' private data when they're online. NBC5 Stephen Biddix joins us now in the newsroom. Stephen, you've got some new information at this hour. Yes, we do, Brian and Liz. We've just received Scott's veto letter of this bill. So while supporters say it's needed to protect Vermonters' private data, in his veto letter, Scott said he's concerned with what it would mean for small and mid-sized businesses in Vermont and their, quote, already poised to absorb an onslaught of new pressures passed by the legislature. I do support uh, privacy. I do support a privacy law. I just don't support this one. Our data belongs to us and not the companies that hold data. For years, Vermont Attorney General Charity Clark has worked to get a bill passed to protect Vermonters' online data. People don't realize it, but when you get a free app, you're paying for it with your data. You might not be buying it with money, but you're paying for it with your data. And then that data is used to sell advertising or it's sold on the third party data broker market. The bill is targeted at big tech like Facebook's parent company Meta and Amazon, but local businesses are concerned what not having this information could mean for them. We need Google, uh, Microsoft and Facebook to be able to create curated ads where people are likely to respond favorably to them. And that's, I believe that's true nationally. These things that they're proposing could have a negative impact on our ability to curate ads and serve them to likely customers. Local businesses are also concerned because the bill allows for the public to sue businesses through private right of action if they think they're not following the policy correctly and those legal costs will add up. You know, luckily we don't have billboards in our state, but I can picture this like a state in, the, you know, in other parts of the country where you'll see billboards that will go, has your data been compromised? You know, call ABC and we'll, we'll get you money. And, you know, we, we already face challenges in, in this state as a small business. Lawmakers in support say they understand the concern, but feel they reached a compromise by moving the effective date for potential lawsuits to 2027 to fully understand any repercussions. We had a really strong compromise, I believe, that pushed the private right of action, which is probably the piece they're most concerned about out to 2027 so we could look more specifically at the impact that it would have. In addition to consumer privacy, the bill requires social media companies like TikTok and Instagram to change their algorithms for kids to help protect them online. And that I'm really concerned about. You know, we have seen an increase in depression, uh, you know, an increase in suicide, especially among teen girls. And a lot of it has to do with the explosion of not just bullying, but a predatory experience on the Internet. Speaker of the House Joel Kerwinski now responding to Scott's veto, saying, quote, the governor's veto of a consumer protection bill that passed the House on a 139 to 3 tripartisan vote is disappointing, especially in light of all of his discussions around bipartisan and collaborative work. And it's also worth noting that Scott did veto the session's Act 250 and housing bill, which we'll have more on tonight at 10 and 11. And once again, the veto session is set for next Monday. Live in the newsroom, Stephen Biddix, NBC5 News.